Here's the top five folding utility knives for under $22. Utility knives have become very popular because of their convenience and their value. They're really convenient because the blades are inexpensive and easy to replace. So these are my top five utility knives. There's only one of them that requires a tool to replace the blade. All the others, it's just a push of a button. My number five utility knife is the Gerber EAB. Probably the only reason I rank this knife the lowest is because it requires a tool to change the blade, but it's actually a really nice knife. So what I recommend this knife for is if you're gonna carry an EDC pouch or a pocket organizer, this is gonna be a good knife for that because it's really small. It has a nice pocket clip. And it's gonna fit real good down inside of a pouch. Now this knife has a really nice pocket clip. It's really smooth, it's easy to use. And I've tried it, I've slid it in and out of my pocket. It's really comfortable that way. But it's also a really short knife. So it'll fit down in your pocket when it's folded up the way it's supposed to. It's gonna get down in your pocket. It's not gonna cause you to get uncomfortable and like stick out of your pocket or anything when you're sitting down. It's good for either one. I do have to give this knife some points because it's good for a pouch. It's good to clip on your pocket. And it's also good to carry down inside your pocket. So one of the things you'll notice about this knife, it has a really smooth finish. A lot of these knives, they either have a partially plastic handle or some type of composite, but this one's all metal. I'm not sure exactly what metal it is. It feels good in your hand whenever you're handling it. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a fancier knife if you ask me. Number four is the Coast DX126. So some of the strengths of this knife is that it's a really good looking knife. It's got the black handle and the, the gold hardware, and it also has a really quick and nice and easy blade change system. On this knife, all you gotta do is press the little button and slide the blade out. And you can see this coast is just slightly bigger than the Gerber, so you can still use it as a pocket carry or you can use it in a pouch or a pocket organizer. So however you decide to carry it, it's actually a good option. My only complaint about this little knife is the pocket clip. It kind of takes two hands to get it in your pocket one-handed, and I like something I can just reach down and kind of feel my way to get it in, clipped onto my pocket. But this one's just kind of thin, and the lip on the end of the clip is just a, it's just not turned up as enough. It's just a little bit too small. They could have made it a little thicker, a little sturdier. But other than that, I really can't complain too much about it. But if I was looking for a really inexpensive gift that somebody would really appreciate, this is a great option. Hey, so for only about $12, you can grab one of these. So it, it makes a good gift. It's a good price for that. But also, if you lose it or you misplace it, it's not going to hurt you too bad if you're out on a fishing trip or doing something and or it falls behind the seat of your truck and you lose it for six months. Trust me, I've been there. But if 12, 13 bucks, whatever it is, hey, it's not going to hurt you that bad. So it's a great little knife. So number three on my list is the Excel Blades Revo. I think out of this five, this is the most interesting looking knife that I have. It's really futuristic looking. It has a really neat design. And after testing it and messing around with it, it actually functions really well. I don't think I've ever owned a knife or any other tools that's kind of set up like this one. You can see a small little button on the edge of the cylinder. That's going to be your unlock button. So if you want to slide the blade out, you got to press the button and flip the blade out. So the Revo has two positions that it opens to. It opens up a little past 90 degrees, and then it has a fully open setting. So one of the things I noticed is that when you're walking around with this knife, if it's not open, you just have it in your hand. It feels really good to have your finger in there just to hold on to it. It just feels like you're not going to drop it. That's just something I notice. So it's kind of neat to be able to, if you have a D-ring or some other type of gear you want to attach this to, you can even clip it in there if, you're, if your ring will fit through there. So I thought the pocket clip was a little bit too small on this knife, but putting it in and out of my pocket, it, it clipped in just fine, didn't have any issues with it. But I wish it would be a little heavier duty, maybe just a little bit thicker metal, but for right now, it's working just fine. And something else I noticed about this knife, I hate to knock it for it, but it's a little bit bulkier than the other ones. The cylinder is kind of big compared to the other knives. So it is a little bulkier. It's not gonna work too good, I think in a pouch or something like that, especially if it's going in your pocket. It may just be a good pocket carry that clips onto your pocket. It's probably a little too big to slide down in there and mix in with the rest of your stuff. But this knife is just a little bit bulkier than the others. It's hard to really find anything I don't like about this knife. It has a little button here to exchange the blade. The blade opens and shuts real smoothly. It feels good in your hand. It's really hard to find something I don't like about it. So if I'm gonna get really picky about this knife, I could say I wish there was a little more blade exposure. With these, it's kind of tough. When you have a, a utility knife with a locking blade, it's kind of tough to have the full blade exposed because the, the, the tool has to have something to grab onto. And this one, you can see that it has a, a little bit less exposure than the rest. What I mean is there's just not a lot of blade sticking out. It's enough to get the job done. But I mean, we're talking about a utility knife here. So you don't really need this knife to really cut through something that's real thick and like you would use a knife for, like a typical knife. I'd say this knife is a really good value. I think it's only about $18 right now. And it comes in several different colors. So you can get it in this green color. It also comes in a red, a gray, and a black. I think it's kind of cool they offer in different colors. 
if you have some other gear you're trying to match it up with, it's not a bad idea. So coming in at number two is the Klein Utility Knife. So before you even open this knife, you're gonna see this pocket clip. And I just wanna point out how nice this pocket clip is. You may think it's not something to really focus on, but this one really looks a lot better than a lot of the others. It has really thick metal, and I like the way it's attached. Instead of having two little screws, it's actually attached to the hardware that holds the whole knife together. I think that's kind of a quality point, and it looks like it's really well made. I started putting it in my pocket, taking it in and out, and it's real easy to get it in and out of my pocket one-handed. This could have easily been the, the best pocket clip out of the group. And you can see on the pocket clip, it's really flared out real nice. So it really grabs the edge of your pocket, makes it easy to do one-handed. This little Klein is very similar in size to your typical pocket knife. So you can notice on this one, it has a button lock to open and shut the blade. I started using these button locks and I really have started to like them. I started to prefer the button lock over the liner lock. These little button locks, they're really smooth and you can actually flip them open one-handed if you want. So on this Klein, it has a really easy way to change the blade. It's similar to some of the other knives. It just has a little button that you can push and the blade comes in and out real easy. Either you change it out or you just flip it around. It also has a little notch there to cut rope or some other type of item. So basically this knife ranks really well because it has that really nice button that opens and closes the blade that keeps it locked in place where you want it. it has a really good blade exchange method. The button works good, everything's real smooth. And it has a really nice pocket clip that's really nice and beefy. And it seems like it's attached in a way that's a lot better than the others. So the number one knife in this group is the Milwaukee Fastback. This thing is just amazing. I've actually been using the fold-out screwdriver way more than I ever expected. So if I ever come across a loose deadbolt like on a door or any type of cabinet that has a knob that's loose and has a little screw in the back, I just can't resist taking this thing out of my pocket and tightening that screw up. A lot of times those type of things you put off, like, well, I'll get it next time. I gotta go out to the garage and get a screwdriver or just get my toolkit. But hey, this thing's in your pocket, so you end up fixing it right on the spot. So I've really been enjoying carrying this Fastback. So after using this knife over and over again and keeping it in my pocket and holding onto it, I started to realize really how genius a wire pocket clip is. Now for me, I don't think that looks very good. It's not as nice as the pocket clip on the Klein, a nice thick metal one. It doesn't have that visual appeal to it. And that's something I like too. I like something that looks nice. If I'm gonna use a tool and keep it in my pocket, I want it to have a nice look to it. But surprisingly, this thing works really good. And there's a couple of reasons why I think it does. So this wire, it's smooth on all the edges. It's not gonna cut into your clothes. It's not gonna, it's not gonna tear up your pocket at all. And after using it, I started to realize, so there's two pieces of wire that make contact inside your pocket. What I, what I think is happening is those two wires are actually pinching. There's a little area between where it's pinching your clothes and it's really holding it nice and firm. I just think it's kind of a genius idea to use wire instead of a solid piece of metal. Now, I don't know if they did that to save money, if this costs less or anything else, but I've been using it and man, it works really good. So I've really started to like these knives that have the button switch to open and close the blade. Now, once you get comfortable using it, you can just flip the blade open. Sometimes it'll kind of bounce and it won't open all the way or it'll open and shut a little bit. But once you get the hang of it, you can just sling it open. It's probably not the safest thing to do. So it's probably not recommended to do that, but it's kind of nice to have something that you can open one handed. So it's really hard to find stuff you don't like about these knives when they when they work really well and they really come in handy it's it's hard to find flaws with them but if i could change one thing about this fastback i'd put one of those button locks on the screwdriver so when you open that screwdriver it has a little liner lock on the inside just like a typical pocket knife you know it locks in place it's real sturdy that's just a convenience thing but hey if they want to put a, a button on that side too that'd be pretty cool so this little tool came in really handy i wish i had some video footage to show you guys I was putting together this plastic cart. It's a little thing that you haul boxes and stuff with. And I didn't have any leverage with it. So this cart, it comes in, you know, a few pieces. It's all plastic and it has these like, they're almost like wood screws. I think they, they're, they're really called machine screws, but they're made to hold plastic parts together. And they would go about halfway in and get really tight. And they're like 3 16 thickness. They're pretty thick, but they have that real coarse thread like a wood screw. So anyway, I was getting the screws in about halfway with this thing. And I didn't have a, a good impact driver. I didn't have a cordless drill or anything to help me. It was just one of those things where I could have put the job off till tomorrow, but I wanted to get it done right then. So I was like, I'm gonna do this by hand. And so turning those screws with this, it got, it got really hard pretty quick. I got them all started and my hand was starting to blister up and I was just, my hands were pretty much whooped. But I was gonna show you this little trick I did 
I ended up finding a flat tip screwdriver, like a long skinny one. I didn't have a lot of tools with me, so that was one of the few little items I could find. So what I ended up doing was making it like a T-handle with this thing. I had my long screwdriver going through this area, this little bottle opener area, and I made like a little T-handle. And so if you're ever messing around with this thing and you need a little extra leverage, you might try that. It's not what it's made for. And it was just enough leverage that I needed. Now it's not something you're gonna break loose a nut or a bolt on something heavy, but if you have a screw that's just a little bit more than your own strength, uh, you're not gonna damage the knife with something like that. But I just thought I would share that with you guys and I'll show you some clips of what I did. It came in really handy and I was, I was like, that is a nice little extra feature, having this pass through right here on the opposite end of your screwdriver, or you could make a little T, if, T handle if you needed to. So my little T handle hack, it was really tedious and slow. But the, the fact was I got the job done what I was working on, so I was pretty happy with it. And I've been really impressed with this little Milwaukee tool. I think they're actually a little underpriced. I think right now they're about $22. And I would pay I would pay more honestly for this thing. After using it and owning it, I would definitely recommend, recommend it and say that it's probably worth more than that. If they can sell them for $22, that's cool. Hey guys, leave me a comment. If you guys have tried these and you, or you've had one and you've liked it, or if you've even found problems with it, I haven't had this one forever. It's just, I've had it a few months and I've been using it. So I don't have a lot of time with it. I know they're not indestructible or anything. So, so if you have one, leave me some comments about your experience with it. I'm always curious to know, you know, what they're good for. So somebody commented on one of my other utility knife videos and I thought it was a pretty cool idea and comment. They were saying, if you travel, if you fly, you can take one of these with you and you just don't travel with the blade. When you get to your destination, you can pop in someplace and get some more blades and you get right back with it. I thought it was kind of a cool idea. It's something like if you have a really nice utility knife, you can just leave the blade behind. If you're gonna fly, take your knife, and then when you get to your destination, you just find a blade someplace. I just thought that was kind of cool. It's not something I thought of, so I really appreciate it when you guys comment on stuff like that. Hey, so out of these five utility knives, how would you guys rank them? If you guys have any experience with these or just by watching my video, if you have like a personal favor on how they look, how would you guys rank them? I mean, sometimes you do like one that looks, some. Sometimes these knives look a little crazy and it's just not something that you prefer. It's it's more of like a visual thing because they all work pretty good. And there's none of these features are deal breakers. So if you have a preference on something, just let me know how you would rank them. If you guys want to add a good utility knife to your EDC, I'll leave links for all these items that I tested down in the description of my video. Hey, I really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing to my channel and I'll see you soon.